Okay, this is Bob Schulteis with the University of Missouri Extension in Webster County, and today we're talking about soil sampling. Uh, if you want to keep your plants healthy, the idea is to keep the soil healthy, and the soil, if you keep the soil healthy, it will take care of the plants for you and minimize a lot of the other problems that plants typically have. Uh, to take a soil sample, uh, in a lawn type situation, we want to sample four to six inches deep. Uh, typically four inches in an existing lawn, six inches deep if we're going to establish a new lawn. And uh, you can soil sample any time of the year, but uh, uh, it's a little easier to do when the ground is moist. And it works better if it's not frozen in the winter time too. And to do that, uh, this is a push probe. What you do is push it into the ground down to four to six pull it out and you will get a core and what you want to do is take that core put it into a clean plastic bucket not a metal bucket because the plastic the metal will impart uh, impurities into the sample and repeat this process in various locations uh, at least 12 to 15 locations around the yard uh, if, if you're doing a lawn and that way uh, you get a representative sample of what's going on uh, in there uh, once we get an, uh, another option, if the ground is harder, we can use an auger and auger it into the ground. Uh, when the soil is really dry, it tends to fall off of the auger. And so one way to solve that is take a plastic container, put a hole in the bottom of it, set it down where you're going to sample and drill through that. And that way you won't lose the soil that you're trying to sample that out and your soil will stay in the bucket dump that off again repeat that process in 12 to 15 places around your yard and once you get that sample done blend that soil together so that it's a break down any of the pieces that are in there um, any of the organic matter you can take that out uh, or the the plant material and so forth remove that and if the, if the soil sample is wet like this is uh, it needs to be dry in order to uh, uh, send to the lab and so you can lay that on, out on some newspaper overnight and let it air dry and uh, what the extension center needs is about two cups of this material uh, bring that in uh, you can bring it in any kind of uh, container that you have uh, plastic bags, paper sacks, uh, uh, whatever's handy, um, and bring that in. We will ask you some questions about what you want to grow and uh, what is currently growing out there, and from that we will um, make recommendations, or we will send that off to the lab. Uh, currently it costs, as of 2012, it costs uh, $20 to send the sample off to the lab and uh, within about two weeks you'll get your results back. It will tell you what's in the soil as far as nutrients, uh, your organic matter, your pH of your soil, um, calcium levels, uh, that type of information, and then it will recommend how much lime if needed to raise soil pH or how much fertilizer to put on based on the plants that you're planning to grow.